This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz 2019. This is the winter edition, and we are so happy that you could join us. You're going to see a great show today. We have Elmwood taking on Salina in our very first game, and then a little bit later, you're going to see Arcadia face off against LCC. Well, we have some great players lined up for these two games, and uh, we're going to introduce you to them in just a minute, but I do want to tell you that we have our judge back, Mark Dickman. We want to thank him for joining us again this year. Hopefully, we won't have to use him very much throughout these next two games. All right, let's introduce you to our players joining us from Elmwood High School. We have Lizzie Hardy, Thaddeus Hopkins Fawcett, Carson Palmer and Dylan Gaheen. And Elmwood is coached by Hope Hopkins Fawcett. All right, let's turn over to Salina now. Joining us from Salina is Graham Gower, Craddock Bridge, Gage Seals, and Malcolm Head. And Salina is coached by Hal Hoover. Welcome to you gentlemen. All right, this first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. They are up for grabs. That means that we want to get your buzzers ready. Make sure you speak up when you answer and make your answers as complete as possible, okay? All right, is everybody ready? Question number one, what is the tennis term that means zero? Yes, that would be Salina. Love. Love is correct. What 2003 graduate from St. Vincent St. Mary High School was a first round pick in the NBA draft? Yes. LeBron James. You got that right, it's LeBron James. All right, question number three in our first round. A person with what condition wakes five to 100 times per night. Yes, Salina. Epilepsy. That is incorrect. Elmwood, you've got a chance to answer this one. Yes. Insomnia. That is also incorrect. It's sleep apnea. All right, question number four. What is the world's smallest country? Yes, Salina. Vatican City. Vatican City is the correct answer. All right, we're moving on to question number five now in our first game tonight. In the story, Peter Pan, what kind of animal was Nana? Yes, that would be Elmwood. A St. Bernard dog? A dog is correct. Name the state capital of Virginia. Rich yes, Salina. Richmond. Richmond is the correct answer. All right, number seven in your game. Which book comes last in the New Testament? Yes, Salina. Revelation. That is correct. Okay, you have three questions remaining in your first round. What is the farmer holding in the painting American Gothic? Salina. A pitchfork. A pitchfork is the answer. Okay, you have two questions remaining now in your first round. What is the largest earthquake fault in California? Salina. The San Andreas line. That is correct. All right, last question, first round. What is the only subtropical national park in the United States? Salina. Uh, Everglades. Everglades is correct. All right, we've come to the end of round one. Here is our score now between Elmwood and Salina High Schools. Salina with 80 points, Elmwood with 10. We'll be back with our final two rounds right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal.
Welcome back, everyone. We are starting this show with a game between Salina and Elmwood High Schools, and Salina is leading right now. I, before we get into the questions, though, I want to apologize to Dylan Gein on Elmwood. I mispronounced his name, and I don't like to do that, so um, Dylan, my apologies. All right, Salina, we're moving into round two. That means this is a round with five questions worth five points apiece, and they are all, all yours but please ring in the buzzer with your answer, okay? All right, here we go. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Yes. Leonardo da Vinci. That is correct. All right, number two in the second round. Who has the most swimming gold medals? Yes, Selena. Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps is correct. All right, moving on to question number three. What war was ended by the Treaty of Paris? Revolutionary War. The Revolutionary War is correct. All right, two questions remain here. Name the second president of the United States. Yes. John Adams. John Adams is correct. All right, and your final question in the second round. Name the author of Pilgrim's Progress. Yes. John Rolfe. That is incorrect. It's John Bunyan. All right, moving over to Elmwood now for your five questions worth five points apiece. Everybody set? All right. Give the name for the period of severe dust storms that greatly damaged the ecology and Yes, that would be Elmwood. The Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl is correct. All right, which state became the 17th state on March 1st of 1803? Maybe. Anybody? Anybody? Yes. Louisiana. That is incorrect. It's actually Ohio. Oh. March 1st of 1803. We're going to remember that date, right? All right. What disease is transmitted by the deer tick? Yes. Lyme disease? Lyme disease is the correct answer. Name the artist that wrote the songs Good, Good Father and How Great is Our God. Yes. Chris Tomlin. Chris Tomlin is correct. Very good. All right, last question in the second round. Name two of the three U.S. states that begin and end with the letter A. Yes. Alabama and Alaska. That is correct, Sorry. Alabama, Alaska, <laughs> and you could have said Arizona as well. All right, we've come to the end of our second round now between Elmwood and Salina High Schools. Here's the score. We have Elmwood with 30 points, Salina with 100. We're moving into our final round. Again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece, and they're up for grabs. Okay, here we go. Number one, the, name the author of The Hunger Games. Yes, Salina. Suzanne Collins. That is correct. Identify the virtual assistant that is part of Apple's, yes, that would be Elmwood. Siri. Siri is correct. How long was President William Harrison in office? Salina. A month. One month is the correct answer. All right, moving on to number four now. Who was the tax collector that climbed up a tree so he, yes, that would be Elmwood. Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus is correct. Okay, question number five in this game. What doctor specializes in the alignment of your teeth and jaws using, yes, Salina? An orthodontist. Orthodontist is correct. Question six. Who is known for the quote, give me liberty or give me death? Yes, Salina. Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry is the answer. What is the common name for conjunctivitis? Salina? Pink eye. Pink eye is correct. Okay, we have three questions remaining in your game. Name the brand of motorcycle nicknamed Hog. Salina. Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson is the correct answer there. Okay, 
Who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Salina. Michelangelo. Michelangelo is the correct answer. And here's your final question in this game between Salina and Elmwood. Name the U.S. state that has the motto, Eureka. Elmwood. California. California is the correct answer. Okay. We have come to the end of our game between Salina and Elmwood High Schools. Here is our final score. Elmwood, you have 60 points. Salina, 170. So congratulations. You'll be moving on in competition. Elmwood, we want to thank you for joining us this year. And we'll be back with another game right after the break. Stay right there. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. We just wrapped up a game between Elmwood and Salina High School. Salina came out the winner there. So eventually they'll take on the winner of this game now between Lima Central Catholic and Arcadia High School. Let's introduce you to our players joining us from Arcadia. We have Jordan Marzak, Lucas Puttycomb, Ryan Pittman, and Mesa Grine. Arcadia High School is coached by Keisha Holtzberry. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Lima Central Catholic. Playing for LCC is Sam King, John Schreenan, Quentin Potempa, and Danny Sykoski. And LCC is coached by Nancy Sykoski. Welcome to you, gentlemen. All right, we are going to play two rounds before we take a commercial break. This first round, 10 questions. They're all worth 10 points apiece. Let's get the buzzers ready. Make sure you speak up as loudly as possible and make those answers as complete as possible. All right, here we go. Question number one. In what city and state is the University of Notre Dame located? Yes, LCC. South Bend, Indiana. You are correct. In what city is Notre Dame Cathedral located? Yes, Lima Central Catholic. Paris. Paris is correct. All right, question number three in this game. What war was fought between 1775 and 1783? LCC. Uh, the Re American Revolutionary War. That is correct. What does the A and M stand for in Texas A and M? Yes, LCC. Agriculture and Mechanical. That is correct. Moving on to question number five. The average lifespan was age 57 when FDR gave the okay to what system? Arcadia. Social Security. Social Security is correct. Name the comics company that created Spider-Man and Hulk. LCC. Uh, Marvel. Marvel is correct. What bite-sized bits did McDonald's reveal in 1983? Arcadia. McNuggets. That is correct, the McNuggets. In 2004, what destroyed the coast of Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Thailand? Yes, LCC. A tsunami. Tsunami is the answer. Okay, you have two questions remaining in this first round. Name the city that produced a fifth of the U.S. steel for over 100 years. Lima Central Catholic. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is correct. Okay, here's your final question in this first round. Who was the first murderer in the Bible? LCC. Uh, Seth. That is incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try? All right, 
time is up. The answer is Kane. All right, moving now to our second round. And these are five questions for each team worth five points apiece. Arcadia, you have 20 points. Lima Central Catholic with 70. That means you guys are going to lead this round. You can buzz in with your answers, okay, if you would, please. What is the best top-selling book of all time? Yes. The Bible. The Bible is correct. Name the last letter of the Greek alphabet. Yes. Omega. Omega is correct. In Roman numerals, what letter is equivalent to 1,000? Yes. L. L is incorrect. It's the letter M. All right, two questions remaining in the second round. Name the 16th president whose inauguration took place March 4th of 1861. Yes. Abraham Lincoln. That is correct. And your final question in the second round. What novel spawned the phrase, all for one and one for all? Yes, LCC. Uh, the Three Musketeers. The Three Musketeers is correct. Okay, Arcadia, your turn now for your five questions. Please buzz in with your answers. Give the sum of four score and seven. Yes. 87. 87 is correct. In what country is Stonehenge? Yes. Scotland. That is incorrect. It's England. All right. Name the president that had polio. Yes. Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt is correct. Okay. You have two questions remaining in the second round. What two foods are mentioned in the song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game? Yes. Peanuts and Cracker Jacks. That is correct. Peanuts and Cracker Jacks. All right, final question now in the second round. Which amendment to the Bill of Rights that prohibits soldiers from temporarily residing in private homes during peacetime without getting the permission and consent of the owner? Yes. Seventh. Seventh is incorrect. It's the Third Amendment. All right, we have come to the end of our first and second rounds. Here is our score. Lima Central Catholic, you have 90 points. Arcadia, 35. We'll be back with our final round right after the break. Stay right there. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Welcome back, everyone. We are moving into our final round now between Lima Central Catholic and Arcadia High School. Here's our score. Arcadia, you have 35 points, LCC with 90. Again, this is a round with 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece, up for grabs. So get those buzzers ready and speak up with your answers, please. All right. Question number one. How fast does light travel? Yes, Arcadia. Uh, 299 million meters per second. That is incorrect. So LCC, you've got a chance to answer this one. Yes. 300 million meters per second. That is also incorrect. What we're looking for here is 186,000 miles per second. All right, question two. Who invented peanut butter? Yes, Arcadia? Jimmy Carter. That is incorrect, LCC. Washington Carver. Could you expand his name, please? Junior. 
I'm sorry, our judge says we are not able to take that answer. It is in its complete form, George Washington Carver. All right, question number three. Two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. That would be Arcadia. Water. Water is the answer. All right, question number four in your game. What Virginia stream was the site of two major Civil War battles? Yes, LCC. Uh, Bull Run. Bull Run is correct. In which wing is the White House's Oval Office? Yes, Lima Central Catholic. The West Wing. The West Wing is correct. What did God create after he created heaven and earth? Yes, LCC? Day and night. That is correct. All right, we have four questions remaining in our game now. In what state would you find the Adirondack Mountains? LCC? New York. New York is the correct answer. What Great Lake borders the northern boundary of Ohio? Yes, Arcadia. Lake Erie. Lake Erie is correct. How many counties does Ohio have? Yes, LCC. 88. 88 is correct. And here's your final question in your game tonight. Name the garden where God first, yes, that would be Arcadia High School. The garden of Eden. Garden of Eden is where God first put man. You are correct. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Lima Central Catholic and Arcadia High School. Here's our score. Arcadia, 65 points. LCC, 140. So congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. Arcadia, thanks so much for joining us this year. And we wanna thank you, of course, for watching at home and playing along with us. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.